Mitchell Field. Part of the tradition here, the fireworks. And on the ground, and they're the best rushing team in the league, but that is McCoy who trips before he can get up a head of steam. Let's take a look at the Dallas defense. Kenyon Coleman, UCLA. Jay Ratliff, Auburn University. Marcus Spears, Louisiana State University. Anthony Spencer, Purdue. Brady James, LSU. Sean Lee, Penn State. Marcus Ware, Troy University. Terrence Newman, Kansas State. Abram Elam, Kent State. Gerald Sensabaugh, North Carolina. Mike Jenkins, South Florida. Coleman and Elam came over from Cleveland along with the defensive coordinator, Rob Ryan, second down and seven. And this defense is a whole lot better than it was last year. Big hole, big gaping hole. And of course, the minute we say that, a huge hole opens up for McCoy, who takes the ball inside the Dallas 35 to the 33 yard line. So the best rushing team in the league going against the best rushing defense. That's a gain of 21. Jason Peters, welcome back for the Eagles. Watch this down block here. McCoy on the cutback, but Peters took everybody about five yards down the line. He's their best offensive lineman, and they are excited to have him back. And this time it is McCoy. Start on the ground. Five-yard gain. McCoy. Keep it on the ground. McCoy dancing away. Around the corner he goes. And he turns no gain into a pickup of 10. Got away from Sean Lee who had a chance to make the tackle. Poor Jay Ratliff right here. Has him dead to rights. There's no way you miss him from that standpoint. That was a little like Barry Sanders. Then on the outside, Sean Lee, who's the Cowboys' best tackler, thinks he has him. He takes a stiff arm to the face mask and pick up another first down. To this point in the quarter, the Eagles have gained 133 yards. The Cowboys 17. From the 36. Cowboys show blitz here. They come and it's a run right through the middle from McCoy. Inside the 10, taken down at the two-yard line. Sensabaugh saving the touchdown. And Ryan is furious. The Dallas Cowboys defensive line. I mean, so far, the, the Cowboys playing the role of the Washington Generals to this. Selleck taking wear out of the play. McCoy is a tailback. McCoy over right guard. McCoy trying to get in and does. Touchdown. McCoy already with 78 yards on seven carries. Well, first let's check to make sure he does get in. It looks like it. Remember, any part of the ball crosses the front edge of the goal line. No knee down. That would be a touchdown. And I tell you, I just remind you that the Dallas Cowboys came in with the number one ranked run defense in the NFL, and they are just getting gouged. McCoy dancing. <laughs> and then Ware says enough of that. Brooking 14 years in the league, and tonight celebrating his 36th birthday. Oh, after bye weeks. McCoy, he was done in Cleveland. And it's a fascinating contrast between the urbane slow as of tonight Brooking second down and five and McCoy hit long count McCoy nothing on the right side off he goes around the left side and he's got first down and goal here's McCoy getting about half the distance on second and ten McCoy, busting tackles, spring to the outside. To the 45-yard line of the Dallas Cowboys. And McCoy goes up and over 100 yards tonight. That gives him 108 on 14 carries. Well, Keith Brookings having a tough night in pass defense, and now he's getting a little bit ugly in the run defense. Watch right here. There's no way he should be missing that tackle. 
but LaShawn McCoy now is just eating alive what was the top-ranked run defense in the NFL. Well, what are you think? <laughs> Love that shot of Howard Mudd. There's McCoy on a third and one who will move the chains. Dick on a second and 12 screen. McCoy gets a block. First down, first and goal to the five goes McCoy. Well, they've got a couple of new wrinkles in off of this sprint draw look. That's been the run that's been so effective for them. So they wanted to put in a couple of wrinkles this week and the screen pass one of those. Very seldom do you play fake one way and then throw the screen that way. But because of that play's effectiveness and because of that, that young man's ability to run, LaShawn McCoy, seems like everything's working. A trio of sacks now for Ware, and there's a huge hole for McCoy, so no big deal. Second down at 18, and give it to LaShawn McCoy. Guys here, we're going to come with a trap on the other side. So every time that the Cowboys come up with a play, the Eagles come right back with the counter and have a huge run by LaShawn McCoy. LaShawn McCoy, third year, drafted in the second round, played at Pittsburgh. Jenkins is hurt. So the Dallas corner comes out. McCoy's now rushed for 128 yards. And a couple of more here to the 41-yard line. Well, we've had a good time watching him tonight. We hope you have too. LaShawn McCoy, watch some of these moves. I mean, you know, that's Barry Sanders, the old backup and accelerate around the outside, an ankle breaker on Terrence Newman there. Going to run around Keith Brooking on this one. If you have one criticism of him tonight, he is pretty loose with that football. He's running with it, swinging out there. But boy, with those numbers, hard to criticize him very much at all. The offensive line is really what kept the Eagles in it. The most valuable Eagles clearly as McCoy dances again and gets down to the 30 Arizona. And on fourth and one, they give it to McCoy, and McCoy stumbles in the backfield. We'll see what Come down with the safety, kills this, and goes run. McCoy, the real McCoy, touchdown. Ron Ryan hasn't had too many nights like this in his career. Jerry Jones, well, one of those nights. Harold Sensabaugh is going to sneak down. Vic sees it, goes kill, kill. And a pass play call, which means now we're going to go to the run. Out position him to the outside. Good blocking by the receivers. And walk it in. It's amazing what this Eagles offense looks like when they don't turn the ball over. They've been nearly flawless tonight. <laughs> Careful, don't hurt that. If you're literally hiring him in 99. And after the 31 yard line with McCoy, you talk about McCoy. You know, Vic was to go. Well, Tony Romo wanted to pick up where Des Bryant left off. And here's McCoy swinging to the outside. He'll tack on a few more yards to another tremendous performance for LaShawn McCoy out to the 12-yard line. He goes, he's carried the ball 25 times for 171 yards. Vic tonight, 75%. McCoy. Averaging almost seven yards per carry. Didn't happen that way. Second and three. McCoy still fighting. Starts inside and then's going to bounce it not only outside but backwards and outside. And I think Keith Brookings seen just about enough of that. And McCoy to the eighth. Beating McCoy again. Uh, to the 19. You know, if we have second and nine, Reed's going to be 13 and 0 coming off bye weeks in his career. In rushing per game tonight, 233. The Cowboys were doing this on the fly, would have gone from first to fourth in this one night 
in a rushing defense thanks mainly to LaShawn McCoy and the guys up front. You know what's interesting? You're on Clearly. <laughs> and this is McCoy taking it out to the 26 yard line and taking us to the two minute warning. Two minutes until the